we want to evaluate the depth integral. The graph of the integrand function is graphed here in blue. Then we have the vertical lines x equals one and x equals square root two, which are the limits of integration. And since the integrand function is non-negative over this closed interval, the value of this depth integral will be the area of the shaded region. To evaluate this, let's begin by factoring out the 10. So we can write this as 10 times the integral of one divided by one plus x squared integrated with respect to x from one to square root two. From here, by analyzing the integrand, we need to recognize we'll be using this integration formula given here, where a squared is equal to one and therefore a equals one, and u squared equals x squared, and therefore u equals x. Now to make sure we don't have to perform u substitution, we also need to find du. Well, differential u or du is equal to dx, which indicates we don't have to perform u substitution. So we can go ahead and find the antiderivative. We would have 10 times one divided by a, but a is one, so we'd have one divided by one, which we can leave off, and then we have arctangent of u divided by a, which would be x divided by one, or just x. So now we'll have 10 times, when x is square root two, we have arctangent of square root two minus when x is one, we have arctangent one. Square root two and positive one are tangent function values, and we're looking for the angles that have those function values. Well, having a tangent function value of square root two does not result in a nice reference angle, so we'll have to use the calculator here to get a decimal approximation. But having a tangent function value of one should remind us of the angle pi over four radians. So we know this will be pi over four radians. Now we'll go to the calculator. The first thing we should do is make sure we are in radian mode. So we'll press the mode key. Notice radian is highlighted, so we'll go back to the home screen. And then for arc tangent or inverse tangent, we'll press second tangent, and then square root two, enter. So the approximate value would be 0.95532. And again, arctangent one is pi over four radians. So we have 10 times the quantity 0.95532 minus pi over four radians, which gives us an approximate value of 1.6992, which would be the approximate area of the shaded region. I hope you found this helpful.